What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turnage, and this is the second episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. Actually, this is the third episode, but my last episode wasn't necessarily legal, and I got a call from a certain person that if I didn't take it down, I'd get in some trouble. So, this is the, I guess, the unofficial second version, or the official second version. I don't know how you want to look at it, but I'll make another video and then I'll rename it. I'll make another video of that video and then I'll rename it and you know but whatever. This episode is actually going to be talking about the social media world and you know what I've actually observed and honestly I think it's a great idea you know it's a good way to put yourself out there and you know speak your voice and you know get your point across especially when you look at vines and you know memes I mean those are perfect because in those matter of seven seconds seven to fifteen seconds you put your thoughts and your feelings in the world and everybody just gets it and then memes you know if it's aimed at a certain demographic or it's just aimed at the world with a few letters and a few words and a picture people you know it clicks with people and then they you know it, people just get it and they and they enjoy it, you know. Look at Vine, look at YouTube, and look at the memes. I mean, and look how many people have gotten famous off of it. I mean, I think it's, you know, the perfect thing. But also, there's a negative side to this social media. And that's the kind of, you know, it kind of bothers me a little bit because of the fact that people use social media in the wrong way to get views. And it's like, don't do that. Because when you look at people who record their friends falling down or getting knocked out and then they put, you know, that on the social media world for a few views, that's not cool. Or just anybody in general, you got to be mindful of how that person is going to feel because once it's out on the Internet, there's no taking it down. And, you know, you recording somebody getting hurt for a few views is not cool, bro. Or... You know, especially if that person is your friend. The last thing you want your friend, your so-called friend, is be humiliated by, by you know, social media because he fell down or, you know, something bad happened to him or he got in trouble. You, you don't record that and put that on the media for the world to see. you got to be mindful how that person is going to feel. You know, that could come up 10 years later and he or she, you know has kids and then they turn around and look at their kids look at them differently you know i mean granted i'm just saying the worst and you know worst case scenario but once it's out on the internet it's out there and also don't record yourself doing something stupid or illegal like i saw this one video where it was black friday and old dude was about to steal a tv and his friend was sitting there recording him stealing the tv and then put it out on the internet come on now Think before you do something. If you're going to do something illegal, if I'm going to do something illegal, I'm not going to put it out there for the whole world to see so I can get captured by the police 10 minutes later or an hour later or a couple of days later. You know, be smart with what you're doing. And also, pulling out your phone to record something is taken away from the full experience, in my opinion. It takes away from the full experience of trying to enjoy that moment, whether it is a fight whether it is an accident or whether it's Shamu jumping in the water, you know, just enjoy what's in front of you because it really and truly trying to sit there and do this is, you know, it's not that fun. Especially what happens if you don't capture that moment. It's like, well, I've wasted 10, 15 seconds or a minute trying to focus the camera and when I could have been simply enjoy it. and then work on your storytelling skills. You know what I'm saying? Describe, work on how to... Describe something to where that person feels like they're there too. You know what I'm saying? That's that's better than a video. If you can articulate something to where that person feels like they're there, you, you know. I mean, granted, it's all, almost not. I mean, because that person is that you're describing it to or showing a video to is not going to truly experience the feeling that you're feeling anyway. So why not just tell them the story? Because once you can speak well, people tend to be mind boggled by that. You know what I'm saying? But also, you know, there was a situation where I recently saw, I mean, it was a girl and a guy and it was the guy's girlfriend. And it was a situation where that was something that needed to be worked out between them. But she ended up.
putting out his business so badly. I mean, granted, that was horrible of her. You know, you don't go doing something like that. If somebody's going to put you on blast like that, you really need to question who you really should be around. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm trying to get at is don't use social media or don't use somebody's negative experience for your own views. You know what I'm saying? You got to be mindful of who that person is or mindful of that person and how they're going to feel when somebody's when millions and millions of people are laughing at them and they can't even take that video down without, you know, legal standards or a great publicist, you know, or it, you know, it comes to the point where somebody has to come down and take it down. But that memory is still going to be there that the fact that the world is laughing at them in a negative manner or for their own amusement. So with that being said, I'm just saying be mindful, people, and also enjoy the experience in front of you. With that being said, I'm Sean Turnage, and I'm signing out.